Dear students, welcome to our second video to puncture assembly project. As we said, we have a puncture device in previous video. Any of you who didn't know or didn't have an idea can go back to P video one and see what we talk about. This is our AutoCAD Mechanical 2016 started and we'll begin with our template. Usually we go to application menu and new and from here we'll choose our template. New feature in AutoCAD 2016 that we have a get started. Here a start tab and we can get started from here. Here we have recent documents are listed. We can open any previous document you worked on and the other thing that we have our templates are listed here of course our if we go back to our drawing and see we can see that our drawing is too big and we have to choose the appropriate format sheet format for drawing we have 160 by 70 and other things we we'll put in so a3 template a for a3 size will be too small so we'll go to a2 size let's go back to our autocad and from here we'll take a2 template file double click to have a zoom extend view of our sheet let's begin when we see here we see our tightening piece and base let us start with our base that is 190 by 160 rectangle and we have here two holes tabbed holes through M20 by 1.5 pitch and we have countersink hole here the distance between them are 64 and it, the distance from here to here is 60 let us begin with our rectangle first 190 by 160 I'll go back to my AutoCAD and let's go back to let's go here to our rectangles and we can click on more rectangles this is a feature in AutoCAD mechanical additional feature in AutoCAD users they don't have it so we can choose many types or many ways of drawing our rectangle the data that we have that we have length and width of our rectangle and we'll begin with start with one of the corners so I'll check this one and click OK he'll ask me for a corner I'll put any I'll put it here full base with 190 the height is 160 and this is our rectangle Let us check our dimensions. Let's go back and see. Yes, we have 190 by 160. Now we'll put a construction line, vertical construction line, and offset it 60 by and 64. And other horizontal construction line will offset it by 40 and 80 in order to have the, cent the center points of our holes. Let's get started. 60 and 64, 40, 80. Okay, let's go back to our AutoCAD mechanical. Go to construction lines here. Of course, in construction lines, I can cons I can use construction rays if I press on this one. Let us see. It comes to rays. I need a vertical one. So this is my ray. I need horizontal one 
this is my horizontal ray there's a difference between rays and construction lines as we said our construction lines are goes up there so let's use our offset and as we said here we have to offset 60 and 64 40 and 80 offset 60 this is my first line another offset 64 I'll go here and another offset 40 and another offset 80 enter and here is my center points this is my center points for my tabbed holes and here we'll have from the center I can pick another ray from the from the middle of here in order to have the center point of our countersink I forget I think I have to put all of these things on AM0 so I'll change the layer to AM0 here and here is my AM0 layer I'll make my AM0 layer current to cut mechanical zero layer current and now we'll go for our holes let's go and check we have two tabbed holes M20 by 1.5 through tabbed holes in these ones M20 by 1 to 1.5 pitch okay let's go back to our AutoCAD mechanical go to content libraries here's our holes we have blind hole we have tabbed through hole we have tabbed blind hole so we are going for tabbed through hole and go for metric find the threads oh sorry I'll go back again we need top view not through holes go here for metric fine threads we need a top view our center will be here our rotation angle is zero enter and we'll go for our M20 by 1.5 pitch here's our 20 by 1.5 I'll click finish so this is our first tabbed hole we need another one we can copy it to here or we go and exercise ourselves again tab through hole we'll go down for metric metric fine threads top view our center is here our rotation angle is zero enter we'll accept and go for 20 by here is 120 by 1.5 where is it yes finish so we have our two tabbed hole of course we did a mistake here you can't see anything in the browser because our mechanical structure is off in this case we have to migrate our holes or we can delete them and do do them again it's up to you let us migrate one and do another one I'll delete this one just in case you did this mistake I'll double click on my hole this is to edit the hole let us see when we are switching the mani uh, mechanical structure on and now double click on this one he'll ask to migrate structure component I click on this component enter and here is my hole sorry again structure on double click migrate our this is it okay ok 
okay finish and here is our top view of my hole is listed here I'll keep don't forget to keep your mechanical structure on in order to take advantages of our standard parts that will be at the uh, drawing browser now I'll go again for throttle and I'll go for metric find thread the view here our rotation angle is zero and pick our size is 20 by 1.5 and click finish so we have this is the first and the second hole this is the difference that our mechanical structure is on or off now we'll go to our countersink hole and you'll see here we have a countersink hole 520 through this is the, f the 20 and countersink 540 this is this distance is 40 from here to here by 45 degrees and this is our 45 degrees between these two inclined lines okay so I'll go back to my drawing and I'll check where is the countersink we don't have it here so we'll open this small arrow and check for our counter sinks here we have external threads here we have counter bore this is my counter sink so I'll click on my counter sink user counter sink front top view counter sink this is my again top view I'll put my top view here rotation angle is zero and here is my I have to enter my data here my small diameter is 20 my can you notice when I switch here I have the, the red dimension is on here I have it 40 and the angle between them this is the angle is 45 click finish so this is my counter board of course here we c we can see the counter sink shape we are in top view now I finish my top view of the base I'll take rid of get rid of my construction lines by clicking this arrow save and I'll save it in my working directory <laughs> okay okay and I'll name it by D puncture assembly and save it see you in next video